What is meta-analysis? Meta-analysis is a quantitative summary that pulls a result from multiple studies that show the same theme. The most important aspect of your meta-analysis is your studies. If studies are too dissimilar, then meta-analysis is not realistically possible. So, in order to choose similar studies, you need a focused question. It is also equally important not to miss any important studies. So, all resources must be used and widespread search for studies is required. Next comes a study validity its features and finally study results and sources of heterogeneity and its specific strengths and limitations. So when you critically appraise, you want a focused question in terms of having a main primary outcome, exposure variable and make sure that the population has been clearly defined. Also, the existence of a comparator group and lastly, if other clinically relevant outcomes are considered. Is the hunt for study widespread? What bibliographic databases were searched? Did the reviewers look for letters, abstracts, review articles and also reference lists? Did they contact the experts? What years languages were searched? Are inclusion and exclusion criteria uh, properly defined like study design, population, outcome and exposure variable and so on. How many reviewers independently selected and reviewed the articles and what process did they use to reach agreement on selected articles. What criteria were used to assess the validity of individual studies is very important. Assessing the quality of observational studies in meta-analysis can be a little tricky. Which tools were used like Newcastle Ottawa scales, Robbins one tool used for quality assessments are important. Similarly, how the quality of randomized control trials are discussed or assessed in a systematic way is also equally important. Did a minimum of two reviewers judge the validity of individual studies? What process were used to reach agreement are all important factors. And these are all essential things required to critically appraise the validity of individual studies included in meta-analysis. Studies that yield no effect are not published and can lead to publication bias, which is a big threat to study validity and therefore needs to be emphasized and looked at. How many distinctive studies were constituted? Which specific study designs were included? What was the duration and adherence to the study treatment? What were the included studies sample sizes? Any opposing results reported? Was the study very diverse with respect to the study location or area? Results of meta-analysis Consistency between studies Were the results consistent from one distinctive study to another individual study? Were tests of homogeneity piloted? Were the individual study findings combined statistically? Were tests of heterogeneity conducted? Were reasons or sources of heterogeneity discussed or explored? Are the methodological strengths and weaknesses of meta-analysis discussed fairly? These are all important aspects of a good piece of research work. Results What is the overall summary measure? Are the pooled results across many studies presented as an odds ratio when the outcome is categorical? or as a standardized mean differences when the outcome is continuous. Are the results statistically significant and clinically meaningful?
based on confidence interval of the summary measure, how precise is the result? How the results presented? Is it a picture or a forest plot with line of no effect? Sometimes the result of a meta-analysis may show statistically significant results but may not be applied to practice. Knowing if the results are applicable in real-life situation is therefore important.